Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. The City Prestige card has been discontinued. Is it a sign that City is giving up on travel rewards credit cards? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. But first, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So the big hubbub last week was around American Express increasing the annual fee on their Platinum card and throwing a whole lot of new features onto that card as well. But a more quiet development last week also, and you may have missed it over the 4th of July weekend, was the fact that Citi pulled the Prestige card, their high-end travel rewards credit card, from the market, no longer on their website. And then when people began to inquire from multiple reports, looks like Citi has pretty much confirmed that they are no longer offering that card. You can't change into that card. And so it is done. And so to me, the question is, as American Express is moving further and further up market, increasing the annual fee on their high-end travel card, and Chase seems to be in a little bit of a stasis mode right now, is City deciding that they don't want to play in this game anymore and they're just going to get out entirely? Or did they just decide that the Prestige card did not have the traction, so they would pull it, wait a bit, and come out with a new, bigger, better travel card branded under another name? And there's evidence to support either one of these theories. If we go on the theory that they're getting out of the travel rewards credit card game, there's definitely evidence there. Right now, City's lineup without the City Prestige card is almost exclusively focused on cash back. You have the City Double Cash, you have the City Custom Cash, you've got the Rewards Plus card. Even the City Premier card, which maybe you would make the case is a travel card, since it was retooled, they have gone much more on points for everyday purchase categories. There is a $100 hotel travel credit, and maybe there are some other things that you could say are travel focused, but they took away the 25% boost on points when you pooled points with other city cards, so you're no longer getting that potential boost on travel rewards. That way, that was taken away in favor of more points on everyday purchases. So you've got four cards here from City that when you look at them, they almost all are cash back focused. Second of all, a little while back, City got rid of all of the travel protections on pretty much all of its credit cards. So no more baggage insurance, no more trip delay or cancellation insurance, no more travel accident insurance. All of that stuff went away. Now, City said most people never use those things, and that may be true, but for people who are frequent travelers, they liked having a lot of those insurances, even if they didn't use them very often. And sort of the point of insurance is that you don't use it very often, but when those rare occurrences happen, when you need the insurance, it is nice to have. So if you are someone that traveled often, you liked those insurances and you might like them on other cards, and you didn't like it very much that City got rid of them. And then even when the City Prestige card was part of the lineup, City probably had the worst travel transfer partners of any of the big issuers who were competing in that travel rewards space. So Chase and American Express, better partners, I think, across the board. Even Capital One, probably better partners than City at this point. And all of this at the same time that City has been issuing the American Airlines credit cards, American Airlines not one of their travel transfer partners. And so with all of that taken together, City has started to look like a company that is retreating from travel rewards, less like a Chase or American Express, more like a Bank of America, for example. Now, on the other hand, I could also make the case that all City is doing here is pulling a card that has proven to not be all that competitive with some of the other travel cards on the market, and they are going to restart, rebrand, relaunch with a new card. The problem with tinkering with a card that already exists is once people have decided what that card means in their heads, even if you change it, they're oftentimes not going to take a second look. So if you tinker with the City Prestige card and people have already decided that it is not the card for them, they're probably not going to take a look again at it. However, if you come out with a big launch of a card with a new name, then people will take a look. And so it is easy to see City potentially going that route. And remember, City has been pretty good at keeping secrets. The City Custom Cash Card came with no rumors or any sort of chatter beforehand that it was going to show up. If we go back a little further, the City Rewards Plus Card, same thing, just plopped on the market all of a sudden. No one was talking about the potential for that to happen. So if there is a high-end travel card coming from City, we know from experience that they have been pretty good at keeping things under wraps. And probably the biggest hole in the theory that City might be walking away from travel rewards 
is the fact that they seem to have re-embraced the City Thank You Points program. By that, I mean a little while back, the City Double Cash Card added a feature to allow you to convert what had been only cash back into City Thank You Points at a penny per point valuation. The new City Custom Cash Card right out of the gate, even though it is touted as a cash back card, you are getting points in the City Thank You Points program. So if we're looking at a 5% category where you spend the most, you're actually getting five points per dollar in the Thank You Points program. Each one of those points is worth a penny, so that would be 5% if you redeem them for cash back rewards. That being said, why would you go and do that and convert everything sort of into the same model that Chase uses with the Ultimate Rewards program if you weren't going to somewhere along the line have a reason to make those points potentially have more value if you use them in a different way, whether that is reintroducing some sort of boost within City's own travel portal or potentially having a new travel transfer partner like American Airlines. So there just was, within the last couple weeks, the new Built Rewards MasterCard, which has American Airlines as a travel transfer partner. Very unexpectedly, a much smaller issuer, not one of the big banks at all, suddenly getting American Airlines, where City has not had them all this time. You have to wonder if American Airlines has changed their thinking in terms of working with partners, and maybe that is something that is going on behind the scenes with City right now, and so they want to sort of wrap this all up into a nice gift here for potential card holders. Here we have this new card. It's got all these features and has American Airlines as a travel transfer partner. So obviously a lot of supposition there, but when you think about the Thank You Points program and the re-emphasizing of it across all of their cards, you have to imagine something is going on. And so there are mixed signals here and probably more signals that would suggest City is walking away from travel rewards, but City did say earlier in the year that they were going to be working on more new cardholder acquisition this year with new products and that City Custom Cash Card is a good example of that. I have to imagine they still have another travel card up their sleeve. Now where that's going to fall in the travel card market, if that is even the case, is going to be interesting to see with American Express increasing that annual fee over and over again and you have to wonder if Chase is going to follow in their footsteps. Maybe there's an opportunity for City to create something sort of in the middle that could be a nice card and if they could get American Airlines on board well then that obviously would be something that would make travelers open their eyes a little bit again toward City. So we will see what happens. I would love to hear your theories, conspiracy, or otherwise, put those in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews and we talk personal finance and talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. Thanks for watching. Bye.